The big breaking story really all over the country. Sam's Club store suddenly closing their doors. Welcome to the now Tampa Bay. I'm Ashley Glass. And I'm Laura Harris. And unfortunately, a Tampa store is on that list. We've also been in contact with our now stations across the country. They're telling us much of the same thing, especially happening near Cincinnati. Two stores there closing without any notice today. Employees there say they had no idea it was coming until FedEx delivered letters to their home. And a similar story near Indianapolis. A majority of the employees that showed up at two Sam stores there were sent home today without any notice. Sam's has already updated their website to remove the locations that are now closed. In the Tampa Bay area, it's the store near Gandy and Southdale Mabry. That's where we find our Sarah Hollenbeck right now live. Sarah, this has to be a shock for not just the employees, but the customers there. And let me tell you, there have been a lot of customers coming and going today, but what they found as they got up closer to the Sam's Club store was a note on the door telling them it was closed. We found out it will reopen tomorrow, but will only stay open until January 26th. Shocked, stunned, and surprised, large crowds of customers turned away by a closed sign on that door. Walmart tells us poor financial performance is forcing them to close the Sam's Club and several others all around the country. The 150 employees that work here at the South Tampa location are all being offered jobs at other stores. For customers, though, this is a big blow. Many of them have been shopping here for years. Bad. Everything closed now? Wow. Wow. At least maybe a couple months notice or, you know, even a couple weeks notice to find out today is a shock. Now, Sam's Club stores all across the country closed today without any notice. The employees I talked to today here found out that they had about two weeks notice, but some are tweeting that employees said they had no heads up at all whatsoever before finding out that their stores would close. Again, this one closed right now will reopen at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, but then will only stay open for the next two weeks until they close permanently. Reporting live in South Tampa, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for the Now Tampa. We call this a farewell tour. A farewell to what? A farewell to the American Empire, to America as we know it. Yeah, I mean, empire, when it contracts, uh, and it will contract very quickly once the dollar is no longer the world's reserve currency, um, can express itself in some very frightening forms. So, for instance, the Well, as you may know by now, the Kmart store over in Portland is shutting down. Sears says that it will close just over 100 Sears and Kmart stores because of declining sales. The Portland Kmart will close in early April. The rest of the Sears and Kmart stores marked for closure will be shutting down between March and April. Sears has already closed 63 stores this month and more than 300 last year. The UK farewell tour, as you described, it took about 40 years. How long has yeah. the American farewell tour been going for? Uh, well, there's been a steady decline, I would say, since the early 70s, when we shifted, in the words of the Harvard historian Charles Mayer, from an empire of production to an empire of consumption. So we began to borrow to maintain both an empire 
and a lifestyle we could no longer afford. Those began the distortions. foreign resources. We have 17 years of warfare now in the Middle East, futile, endless. Uh, you know, meanwhile, our infrastructure is collapsing, crumbling. Public libraries are closing. Schools, our uh, teachers have to buy basic supplies for students. Uh, and, you know, now we have this insane idea that we're going to uh, train teachers in public schools to carry concealed weapons. I mean, it, these are all examples of a society that is completely unmoored. Uh, so. Within American society, we are a deeply violent culture, awash in weapons. We believe in the regeneration through violence, this myth that violence is a form of purification, um, and that comes out of our long history of genocide and slavery. Uh, you started with a revolution. Yeah. We did not. You yeah. did. Well, we also killed 90% of the indigenous peoples in the United States uh, and enslaved 4 million Africans. Uh, and, uh, and we've never really confronted that, uh, you know, that dark aspect in, a, in, in American history. We, we cling to our national.